A full examination of the eyelid margins is important in the evaluation of a dry eye to ensure instigation of the appropriate treatment. Particular attention should be paid to a number of features which might indicate myobomium gland dysfunction, including the myobomium gland orifices for blockage, pouting and displacement relative to Mark's line, Lid margin profile for signs of hyperkeratinization best visualized with lysamine green. Telangiectasia observed as thread like vessels on the lid margin surface. And eyelashes for signs of anterior blepharitis, which commonly present with crusting. Greasy scales tend to be more commonly associated with seborrheic blepharitis, while flaky crusting might suggest the presence of staphylococcal blepharitis. The presence of cylindrical collarettes has been described as pathognomonic for demodex infestation. To confirm demodex presence, detailed lash examination on high slit lamp biomicroscope magnification is required. Detection rates are enhanced by rotating the lashes for about 30 seconds prior to lash epilation and microscopic evaluation. Expression of the myobomian glands is required to evaluate myobomian gland function. Diagnostic expression can be achieved either digitally by pressing gently with the thumb progressively along the length of the lid margin or, if available, with a dedicated device that delivers consistent pressure equivalent to that of a forceful blink and covering the width of approximately 5 to 8 glands with each depression. Normal myobum is expressed easily as a clear oil from most glands. In myobomian gland dysfunction, the myobum is thickened, opaque and more difficult to express. The clarity of the expressed myobum and the ease of expression can be graded to monitor the severity of gland dysfunction with time. Sit lamp examination allows visualisation of only the orifices of the myobomium glands. White light transillumination gives some indication of gland structure and dropout, but evaluation of gland morphology, which is termed myobography, is better visualised clinically with the aid of infrared source either reflected from the inner surface of the eyelids by transillumination or using a combination of these techniques. Myobography images can be graded against clinical grading scales. Image processing can be used to enhance the image and in some cases to objectively grade a variety of gland characteristics such as dropout.